Well, hello, greetings, salutations. Thanks for joining me for another video. It has been a minute as far as some travel videos, right? So I appreciate you guys uh, tuning in the last few months while I've been here in the Nashville area, just kind of decompressing, relaxing, hanging out with the family. Uh, I had actually planned to take off a little bit earlier than February, but every time I got ready to go, there was like another snowstorm that moved in. And usually Nashville doesn't get that many, but this year we've already had like three or four. So it's uh, kind of just put a little damper on trying to get out and do some camping. I decided that it was time to get going and to take a couple smaller trips to test out the new setup. If you have not seen my new setup, I will link to it up here as well in the description below. But I did a video on that last week, just kind of detailing the new setup and kind of just rearranged a few things and definitely decluttered. So that's been great, really digging it right now and can't wait to get back on the road. These first couple trips are gonna be kind of short ones. This one's only gonna be like a day or two and I just kind of want to just test everything out in the car, uh, get a feel for being back on the road again and you know, I have some new equipment, some new camera equipment, things like that. Make sure I know exactly what I'm doing with everything. So, and also with the camping gear, I just wanna make sure that I have the essentials of what I need and you know I kind of just test it out to see if there's anything else that I forgot. So where are we headed today? Well we are headed to a place called Fall Creek Falls, try saying that again, Fall Creek Falls State Park here in Tennessee. It's about a little over a two hour drive from the Nashville area and I just want to go somewhere that's not too far that I can just kind of test everything out for a couple days and you know make sure I have all the equipment that I want to use for the upcoming season when I start heading back out west, which should happen in about uh, two, three weeks, uh, back to the Las Vegas area, but doing a lot of camping along the way. And then once I uh, get back to Las Vegas, I actually did get a place there this year. So instead of doing, like I was doing comps in uh, casinos last year and stuff, uh, this year I actually have a place. So I will be based out of there again, but then you know heading all over to national parks and campgrounds and, and everything in between. Uh, all throughout the West from, you know, Utah to Colorado, Wyoming, Montana, everything. So going to be a lot of fun. Uh, again, I appreciate you guys coming along for the ride and uh, it's time to get on the road. Probably try to get there around 2 p.m. then set up camp and go explore. All right, I'm going to show you the screen here and kind of give you a little breakdown of uh, the trip there. Uh, don't even need to stop at any superchargers, I don't think. There is one kind of in the area in the Manchester, Tennessee area but we're going toward McKinville, I think. McKinville, I can't remember exactly, but we're gonna be headed that way. And I was able to just charge to 100% at home last night, and then I have 97% right now. So we should be able to get there with, uh, I think it said probably around 35, 40%. So I will show you the screen now, show you kind of the plan and route to get there, and uh, let's get on the road. All right, so we are getting ready to take off. I'm kind of in the Southern Nashville area right now. And so I will kind of show you the the route there. All right, so we are just south of the Nashville area. We're gonna be headed toward the Murfreesboro area, then all, all the way down here toward Spencer, where Fall Creek Falls State Park is. And there is a Manchester, Tennessee supercharger. It's only 74 kilowatt, I believe. So not gonna go there. We don't have any reason to. We should be able to make it. I think it says here that we will make it with 39%. So it might be a little less than that, maybe around 30% or something like that, because I got the cargo box, but otherwise it should be a pretty smooth sailing trip. The campground has a 30 and 50 amp hookup as well as a 110 volt. So that is great. So I'll be able to charge while I'm there and then I should have a full charge on the way back tomorrow. We're looking at about a little over two hours. Let's get on the road and get camping. So I'm on the freeway now and I'm gonna turn on autopilot. It's uh, 70 miles an hour. I have it set at 72. Just letting the car do its thing. All right, so kind of just to show you guys a little different setup. So this year for the road camera, I'm gonna be using my Osmo Action. I actually had it last year. I just didn't use it this way. But I figured uh, it's a little easier. It has a little better view. And we'll see how the quality is. Not 100% sure yet, but that's why we're kind of testing everything out on this trip. Things that we 
All right, so we finally made it. Uh, we are at Ball Creek Falls Lake right now, and I'm just about to head over to the waterfall, which I believe is around 256 feet tall and is one of the largest on the eastern side of the United States. So, yeah, I mean, it's just a gorgeous evening. So happy to be here. Ended up getting in with 43%. When we get back to the campground, I'll make some dinner and plug the car in and get that charged up to 100% before morning and before taking off. So yeah, it doesn't get much nicer than this. Feels good to be back at a campground. Here we go. And we have hookups, so that's good. And bathrooms are right across the road, so. All right, let's uh, get out and take a look around. All right. Oh, we got a hookup, so that's good. There we go. Got 110. 30 amp and 50 amp. Nice. All right, and then back here. Let's take a look at what we're working with here for the camping setup. So we've got the Jackery over here and actually what I'm doing there is what's called a pass-through. I have the fridge freezer right there plugged into the 12 volt on the front of the Jackery because it allows a pass-through. And then I have the Jackery cord going in here to the back to the 12 volt on the Tesla Model Y. And there's a couple reasons I'm doing it this way. One is then I only have to use one 12 volt plug and not the one up front. Two, by doing the pass-through, with the fridge freezer into the Jackery, I set up kind of a fail safe then. Because for some reason, if the car ends up turning off or going to sleep when I'm uh, like in a hotel or out hiking or something like that, it doesn't happen. It's only happened like once or twice since I uh, started doing this. But if it does do that ever, then what would happen was the Jackery will just take over. As you can see it's right now, it's at 100%. And so, that thing, once it's cold, barely draws anything. So to have it at 100%, then let's just say the car went to sleep and, and nothing was powering the fridge freezer. Um, obviously the next day or in a few hours, the food would be bad. But if it goes into the Jackery, then as soon as the power would go out, the Jackery would take over and you would use the battery bank on here, which is 1500 watt hours to take care of that. So we wouldn't even have to worry about that. And then I just plug it right in here to the back into the Model Y and basically it's just drawing then it's a pass-through and so basically i have the full 75 kilowatt hours from the tesla's battery for the refrigerator or any other electronic items that i want to charge so it actually ends up working perfectly you do need to keep either camp mode on or you have to have sentry mode on to make sure that the car or any teslas don't go to sleep so just remember that when you're camping um, in this case like i said i usually just keep sentry mode on all the time and then if i happen to leave and not turn on camp mode that's okay the fridge freezer will still stay on and keep itself cold but yeah this is pretty much the setup just have some of those yellow blocks that are underneath the seat right there just in case i need to even out the car ever wherever i'm parked so i can sleep on an even spot and i also have the seven gallon water jug i just brought one this time and only filled it up about halfway didn't think I really needed at all, but just wanted to, again, test everything. I have two, but this time I only brought one. All right, so let's take a look in the cargo box. Just 
got a little table over there I'll be setting up. Here's the new uh, camping chair that I got. And a couple totes, my hiking boots, and the Evanex window shades. All right, so getting ready to plug the Tesla into the 50 amp post here. Let's uh, see which one we need here. It's, that's the 30 amp. And here's the 50 amp. So that'll just go right into the post here. And that's all we'll need. So here's the Tesla mobile connector. And here's the 50 amp that we're gonna use to charge the Tesla right now. It's actually really easy. All we're gonna do, take the 50 amp connector, pop it in all the way. Go ahead and plug this in. Make sure you turn the 50 amp on right here. That's on, you can see Tesla lights up right there. All right, we're just gonna hit the button, open it up, and plug it in. And you can see it turned green. So success, we are charging now. All right, let's take a look inside. All right, you can see right now it's at 32 amps and it's plugged into the 50 amp, but it's always a little bit less than that. And you can see we're at 44% when we got here. I think that's a little bit better than we were originally estimated by the Tesla. I think it said like 41%. So again, just like my Smoky Mountain trip, it ended up being more accurate than it's ever been before. So I don't know if they did a software update or what, but it's definitely a lot more accurate than it used to be with the cargo box. Again, it was always accurate without the cargo box, but with the cargo box, it was always off by like 15, 20, 25%. Now it's like dead on. All right, so it is time to set up a few more things and then I'm gonna head off and try to do a little bit of hiking. All right, so made it to Fall Creek. I can never say this. <laughs> Fall Creek Falls. Uh, made it here, and yeah, it's pretty cool. There was only a couple other people here when I got here, so pretty much have it to myself now. So wasn't real sure that I was gonna make it in time before it got too dark, but uh, yeah, it's five after five right now, and I wanted to get dinner in and stuff, and I was like, you know what? I'm not that far away. I'm gonna push on and try to get here. All right, so let's get back to camp, get some dinner, get the car plugged in, and uh, get that charge up to 100% for tomorrow. All right, I'll see you back at camp. All right, let's go make some dinner. All right, so just kind of wanted to show you guys, I am charging again, back at camp. 
Let's see there. And you can see right now we're at 47% at 32 amps. And it said earlier, I think it said somewhere around five hours. So I'm just gonna leave it plugged in and then maybe unplug it before I go to bed. If not, just uh, leave it plugged in and unplug it in the morning. All right, so now it's time to turn on camp mode. I pretty much have everything set up. So I'll just go down here. All right, so now that I have the temperature controls up, then I just go over here and hit camp mode. Car will stay on until battery reaches 20%. Sentry mode, security alarm, and walk away lock will be disabled. Of course, we don't care about, it's not gonna go down to 20% because I'm obviously charging right now. And as I said earlier, about five and a half hours till 100%. So I'll just let it go and yeah, pretty sweet little setup here. All right, so tonight, we're going to have some chicken wings and some soup. Get it some progressive chicken noodle soup. So nothing too extravagant tonight. It's too dark and I just don't feel like cooking anything like crazy. All right, so this is the new camping chair that I got and it just goes or it packs away into a much smaller chair than, than the previous one. The other one just folded flat. This one actually, you know, kind of goes into a circle and uh, yeah, it's a lot better. Kind of looks like a tripod or something when you when you pack it up, which is much better for packing and just trying to keep everything as small as possible. But yeah, you kind of see the little setup here. Throw some wings in right now. Uh, got the burner already on, so I will get some soup going, and then yeah, let's uh, let's have some dinner. All right, let's take a look at what we got going here. soup going, some chicken noodle, that's pretty much done, turn that off, and then we got the Ninja Air Fryer right here, got some wings, this should pretty much be about it, let's get a yellow light so you can see. All right, here's dinner. Got some chicken wings, some soup, some crackers, and a Coke Zero. All right, well, that was fun. I'm exhausted. <laughs> Wasn't even that long of a day, but a couple hours on the road and then getting here and trying to kind of hustle around before it ended up getting too dark. That kind of took a little bit out of me. Uh, the setup is definitely a lot better. It was a lot easier just to grab stuff, especially for cooking. I'll probably work on that a little bit more too. Right now I just have like pots and pans and stuff either up top or in the back seat on the floor right there, but I'll probably end up looking at doing something else where it's a little bit more uh, easily accessible. And I don't know, I'll figure that out before the next trip. I do plan to do one other trip probably before I start heading out west. I'm thinking about heading down to the beach like either in Georgia or Florida, and I'll try that for maybe about three or four days. And then after that, uh, toward the end of the month, I'll be heading out to Vegas, but I'll be doing a bunch of 
trips or little stops and camping along the way. Going to be going to uh, probably going to stop actually in Austin, Texas first before uh, getting to New Mexico and then before hitting White Sands. But then after that, I plan to go to Arizona for a little bit, visit some friends that live there, maybe do the Grand Canyon because I didn't do that yet. I did Flagstaff and Sedona last year and Phoenix and Scottsdale and stuff, but I did not do the Grand Canyon. So I'll probably do that on the way. And then when I get back to Vegas, I'll get settled for like a week or two and then get back out on the road and plan to do like Bryce Canyon National Park, Zion again. I definitely want to do that hike, Angel's Landing. And I don't know, pretty much a lot of the things I did last year, but now even more. I'm leaving earlier this year compared to last year. So it should be an action packed spring and summer. I'm planning to hit like, I don't know, at least like 15 national parks and just travel all over from, you know, up in Washington state and Oregon, all the way through to Wyoming, Montana, Utah, Colorado, Arizona, I'll be all over the place. So it should be a lot of fun. Tonight, just plan to watch a little bit of TV or a movie or something. There is Wi-Fi here, so that's good. All right, well, that kind of wraps up tonight. I'm gonna probably check in with you guys one more time before heading to bed. Oh, actually have nice uh, showers. Nice. It's actually warm in here too, it's heated. Definitely do not see that too many campgrounds and this is like 15 seconds from my spot. <laughs> nice. Not exactly roughing it, but that works. All right, so getting ready to put the Evanex window shades up and I'll just put the black ones out because they look a little more stealthy. And to do that, all you do, if you've seen any of my other videos, I've done this a bunch of times, but if you're new here, uh, you know, these work great, especially they're specifically made for the Tesla Model Y. Take them. That's it. I'll do that for every single one of the windows and it'll be completely blacked out. All right, so I am in here now. Um, I got all the windows up now. Let's see. And you can kind of see the setup back here. So got the fridge obviously right here. My MacBook up here, which I'm gonna watch a movie pretty soon couple little snacks got a bunch of things charging right now actually I have the light up here charging as well uh, the Tesla Model Y does have these uh, lights back here on both sides as well as up here so they usually illuminate it pretty good but you know having like a camping light like this just makes it a little bit better so yeah I mean as far as like length or whatever I'm probably have another five inches or so six inches and I'm about six feet tall so should be plenty of room. I do have my front passenger seat pushed up a little bit, but but not much. And you can see even like those uh, window shades, even the little windows in the back have them. So it's literally everything. There is one for the top too, which I've talked about before. I don't ever use it because I have the cargo box up there and you can't see in really or anything unless you've stood on the side of the car. So not a huge deal for me, but uh, yeah, that's kind of the setup right now. So I'm just gonna chill back here it is, what time is it, 8.10, so I'll probably watch a movie here and just relax for the next hour and a half and then hit the hay and wake up early. All right, well, I was going to watch a Netflix movie, but ended up deciding on watching a new video from Eva Zubek. If you have not seen uh, her channel or anything, you guys definitely got to go check it out. She does some amazing things. She's actually on a trek around Antarctica right now but she's lived everywhere from Iraq to Pakistan to uh, all over Europe. And she's basically traveled the entire world, done some just amazing things. And right now she's on a hike through Antarctica. I, I love having this up here just because it's like, I can just lay here and watch TV and watch a movie or something like that. Yeah, it's like my own, my own tiny little apartment in here. <laughs> all right, so I am off to bed. Watch a little bit more TV and then head to bed and I will see you guys in the morning.
<sighs> well, good morning. Let's see. A little cloudy, uh, about 43 degrees, so a little cooler than yesterday. It was about 70 at the high yesterday. Slept pretty good. Um, it is like 7.15 right now. And the car is at 100%, so that's good. I'm gonna run over to the bathroom, so I will catch up with you a little bit later. All made up and ready to go took about i don't know maybe like four or five minutes so not bad at all we got everything up there good all right so i think that was a huge success you know it was a quick little trip i wasn't expecting to uh, get into anything too crazy on this one and so I uh, just kind of wanted to go and test the equipment on the first trip of 2022 and just kind of make sure that I pretty much have everything the way I want it uh, before I get back out on the longer trips. All right, well, thanks again for coming along for the ride. Uh, if you do have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next travel quick tip or review video. Thanks for watching.